So thanks for your time. Um, tell us a bit about the show generally. Uh, well, Sarah Lucas has made a completely new body of work for the British Pavilion. Um, she's an artist with a 25-year career now, uh, so 25-year exhibition history as well. And in many people's minds, she should have been selected for Venice before now. Uh, she feels the time is, is right for her. She recently had a mid-career retrospective two years ago. And so this is, this is really a kind of new stepping into a, another phase of her work. So the exhibition uh, focuses very much on her. There are a lot of traditional Sarah Lucas motifs within the show, um, but perhaps there are elements of surprise for anybody who doesn't know the, the work. Um, she's made two very large sculptures. One stands on the portico of the British Pavilion and one stands alone in the first main gallery. And they're, they're male figures, they're identical sculptures but they're painted in two very different yellows. One is a, a gold cup yellow and the other is a deep cream yellow. And they're reclining figures. So they kind of reference Henry Moore who showed here in 1948 and again with, a, with, interestingly, a figure on the portico in 1952. And Lucas is aware of those kind of references, but her reclining figure is also a, a standing figure. Um, it's a reclining figure of a male with an enormous phallus, which reaches up into, the, into the, um, the, the ceiling of the main gallery and the ceiling of the portico. And it's a typical Lucas touch of irreverence, uh, a kind of almost one finger up to the world to remind you that she's uh, she's an artist now mid-generation but uh, she can still pull some surprises. Uh, there are quite a lot of re uh, reappearing elements like the cigarettes, the whole sort of torso issue, can you talk a bit about that? Yeah, she's um, she came to look at the pavilion on two occasions before uh, beginning to make the work. She knew the pavilion, she'd been, she visited Venice before, she's shown here twice before in the in the main show for the for the Biennale, once in 2003 and again in 2013. So she knows this pavilion quite well. But when she came back to revisit it, it was with a mind to the fact that she was now going to be having a solo show here. And there are six galleries in the British Pavilion. It's they're quite a you know it's quite a substantial building to have a show in. Um, and she, she's an artist who always makes work in, in relationship to the, to the space in which she's showing. She's very aware of that. So in addition to the two very large sculptures she's made, she's made a series of domestic scale sculptures, which are in the four side galleries and in the, the back gallery, which is an enclosed portico. And there are 10 figures, which are the lower half of female bodies cast, cast in plaster. So from herself and from friends. And the, the plaster is, has been left quite white, almost like alabaster, but with a rough edge. She hasn't cut off or smoothed it in any way, uh, cut off the sides of the, the mould. So you can see there's a kind of liveliness about the sculptures. But she's also enlivened them by the placement of cigarettes in the orifices of the, the lower halves of the forms. And as Lucas says, it's... Uh, it's a kind of form of titillation, but it does give a kind of life to them because they, they, with a cigarette there, it's almost like a face that's looking at you. And, and it's also, again, a reminder that this is a Sarah Lucas show. So cigarettes have featured in her work right from the beginning. She is a smoker herself. Cigarettes have featured um, in collages. She's wrapped them around sculptures. And here they are again in the, in the plaster figures. And the plasters, in a way, were, she decided to make them um, for two reasons. One, because she'd made a plaster um, cast of, of the lower half of her own body in the late 1990s, um, again with the placement of a cigarette. And the, that work was destroyed in a quite famous art warehouse fire in the early part of the last decade. And she'd thought for some years about remaking it. And Venice seemed to provide the moment she wanted to, re to actually go back to making that kind of work because the neoclassical galleries seem to lend themselves to sort of a kind of classical take on sculpture and these figures recline lean uh, sit astride uh, furniture and domestic appliances 
and, and there's almost been a paradigmatic change in the use of materials as well, especially with these large-scale sculptures that have, I assume, quite a high production value. Can you say something about that? Yeah, yeah. She's, uh, I mean, she's primarily known for working with simple materials, um, with uh, found, ma found materials like um, fruit and vegetables and food, cigarettes, furniture, domestic appliances of various sorts. Uh, and also for using simple materials like um, nylon tights stuffed with kapok uh, and using wire and coat hangers and various other implements to make um, really quite telling, quite surreal but familiar forms, um, figurative forms, usually female in form. Um, and over many years she's made these very simple sculptures, very telling usually of a domestic or life-size scale because they relate to the furniture she makes them with. But two years ago here in Venice for the Central Pavilion exhibition, she was invited to show in the uh, Carlo Scarpa sculpture court within the Central Pavilion, which is open to the elements. And she'd been thinking for some time about making bro using bronze, um, a traditional sculptural material she hadn't really explored. But she, she felt she wouldn't do that until the time was right. And the the showing in the Central Pavilion two years ago provided that moment because she needed to use a material which was tough enough to withstand the elements. And so she did use bronze and she cast some of her biomorphic forms, which were normally familiarly in uh, soft material, cast them in bronze uh, with a very high gloss golden patina. Um, and there were six of those two years ago. And in a way, they're the precursors of the two very large sculptures you see here today. Um, again, she was thinking because she wanted to put a figure on the portico of the British Pavilion, it needed to be in a substantial, sturdy material. This show lasts for seven months and Venice can get quite windswept and, you know, the rain can buck it down here. So um, she's used resin. She's very practical about the material she uses. If it had been a bronze sculpture the size of these two large ones, the weight would have been...